What's going on everybody? So I um, got a little happier today and decided to order some new kegs. Uh, my other kegs, uh, they're just a little banged up and everything. I bought them used, you know, they were old soda kegs. Um, so I will be putting those up for sale. Uh, I'll probably sell them for like 40, 50 bucks a keg. Um, they're ball lock corny kegs. Um, just old used soda kegs, Pepsi, Pepsi kegs. Um, but I uh, wanted to show you guys the new kegs I bought because they came in yesterday. And uh, so yeah, let's take a look at them here. So as you can see, here's all my kegs. And um, they're really cool, man. I mean, they're like pretty much your typical rubber handled, uh, rubber bottom kegs, but these are brand spanking new and they still have the plastic on them. I'm going to show you. If you look closely here, it says Old Ale Supply Company, um, ISO 9001 quality. And, um, but yeah, they're brand new, man. It's awesome. But the, yeah, I got four of them because I have four kegs currently. But they even come with the, man, look how shiny and new that is. They come with the nice gas release, uh, the ball locks, gas and uh, liquid ball locks. And, you know, these release the same. They're kind of tough at first because they're brand new. Of course, it looks like they pressure test them too because there's a little air in there. But yeah, beautiful. And um, so I hope to, as I empty out my old kegs, change them out to these new kegs. Which I'll close it later. It's a little snug fit right now because they're brand new kegs. Oh, there we go. So anyways, let me unwrap the other ones. I will show y'all something I was a little disappointed with. I did reach out to Adventures and Homebrewing because that's where I ordered these from. Uh, about a certain issue. Not with the keg, not with all the kegs, but I'll just show you right quick. This keg here has a nice ding in it. I was a little disappointed, but uh, they should be calling me back here soon. I did speak with a guy at Austin Homebrew Supply because they are indeed the same company now. Because um, my box had over there it had austin homebrew supply label on there because uh, they shipped from austin but yeah that was a little bit disappointing it won't affect the functionality of the keg but when you buy new you want them to be nice and new and pretty so you can take good care of them but yeah i'm very excited about these but they they came nicely packaged and wrapped and everything and um, these you guys aren't going to believe how cheap these were. I consider it cheap. I mean, if you've been buying kegs, uh, if you're a home brewer and you, you keg, you'll know what I mean by that they're affordable. But they're beautiful, man, other than that one dent in the one. But, yeah, I like them. And over here is how they came packaged. They are individually boxed. And then they were put inside this bigger box and there's a whole bunch of like packing peanuts on top. So they, they did a good job packing it. I still think it was a manufacturer ding. I don't think the shipping did it, but the representative at Austin Homebrew Supply, he said that he thinks that the shipper did it. And maybe they, maybe they just say that because they get a little credit back from the shipper or a little insurance coverage on the product if they have to replace it or if they have to replace it or credit a customer because of a ding but I mean other than that man I was pretty happy to get them um, my old like I said my old kegs are just old soda kegs um, they still work fine I am gonna sell them I'll probably sell them for like 45 50 bucks a pop 40 bucks I don't know I haven't decided on the price they're gonna be cheap and if you live in Texas and you want them um, maybe we can arrange something for you to buy them and pick them up or something or Venmo and pick them up or I ship them just pay me enough to ship them I don't know we'll see but that's all I really got right now I just wanted to show you all these new beautiful kegs um, 
they said basically just and I have to do really any washing or anything just use star sand on everything before I keg and that should be all I have to do with them uh, with the new beers going forward so anyways appreciate your time and we'll see you soon cheers